Hey there, everybody. Good morning. How you doing today? My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, and I'm just going to tell you up front, first of all, just the camera back, I'm going to tell you up front that I'm not crazy. But if you see me slapping around like this this morning, there's a gnat flying around in here, and it is irritating. Anyway, other than that, how are you doing this morning? Good morning to Joan. Good morning to George, both of whom have already said uh, good morning to me in the comments. If you would like to do that, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. You can join the conversation there and leave a comment. Let me know that you're here. And by the way, that works whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay. Either way, it's fun. So I'm continuing my metaphor this week um, of keeping a clean windshield. So first of all, let me ask. Yeah, I had to put the small board back. So um, I can't show you today, but I'll show you tomorrow because <laughs> uh, I have that camera disconnected back there. But I'll show you what it looks like here. I have two great big soft box. There's that and that. Two big soft boxes on either side right here. And with the other board back there, all you can see are two big bright lights back there. The, re the reflection is immense. Um, all right, so continuing the metaphor this week of keeping a clean windshield, I was thinking about, um, you know, yesterday we were talking about bug splat and how it, it can be distracting, you need to clean it off. And, and I was thinking about, well, when do you do that? Because, you know, if you're on a road trip, you're heading down the interstate, you get a bug on the windshield, you don't just pull over to the side of the road and get out and clean it off, especially if you're going through Louisiana because you'll hit thousands of those things. That's for you, Joe. Um, so when do you do that? Now, I, you know, I mentioned, I'm sure I've mentioned at some point how, you know, when we're getting ready to leave to go on a road trip, man, I'm out there putting rain X on the windshield and the whole nine yards, right? And then, you know, kind of every gas station, every chance we take to stop, get out there and clean it again. And, and I, as I was thinking through how to do this, but we can't stop immediately. Right. So two things I want to kind of two points I want to make today. One is you have to take the opportunities when they present themselves. And it reminded me of, you know, back in the day when I was in the army, we'd have an alert. And we'd hurry, 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 hustle, get everything together, and then lay around and sleep. And how I thought, how dumb is this? Because we've done all this work, we, we're packed up, racked up, ready to go, and we're just sleeping. What I didn't realize, I mean, there's two things, two or three things you do every chance you get an opportunity, right? You eat, you sleep, you go to the bathroom. Those are the three things you do every chance you get a, an opportunity because you never know when the next opportunity is going to come along, right? So cleaning the windshield, kind of the same way. You, you take the opportunity when it presents itself, right? So what I like to do is build in those times into my schedule. So for me, it's every Sunday afternoon. I've got time built into the schedule every Sunday afternoon. I go back here and I work through the whiteboard, take off the stuff that doesn't need to be there anymore, add the stuff, rearrange the stuff. It's just, it's like stopping at the gas station for me, right? It's a chance to back away from the work that's actually being done to manage the work that needs to be done. I hope that makes sense. You, so number one, you, you take that opportunity uh, whenever you can. In fact, I think I'm just going to leave it there. That's such a good point. I think I'll just leave that there. Because I, I kind of hate giving you guys more than one thing at a time. right? So um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it there. What is... So here's the homework I want you to take away today. What is... Or when is the one time in your schedule when you plan to stop and clean the windshield? Nat, to, to actually 
to work on the business instead of in the business. If you don't have a time when you do that, when you intentionally plan to do that, I want you to think about how you can schedule that in. Because that, I'm telling you, will make a big difference. Having a clean windshield, being able to see where you're going, and have that focused list of things that you need to pay attention to, it'll do wonders for you. Today is Wednesday. That means it's coffee shop show day today. Uh, so in about less than two hours, you can catch us back here. Eric and I are back here for the coffee shop show. We might even have, uh, a live, a uh, live cafe audience. I almost said studio audience. Joe says the lesson is preparing in advance. That, that, that's true. Okay, so I agree with you, and here's the question that always comes up. How do I prepare in advance for what for something that I don't know? I don't know what's going to happen. And, and that's that actually is kind of how I got to the whole alert analogy. You, you know, and, and pff, yeah, all this time, all the time in the guard, you, you know, we, we rush to get something done, and then you're just sitting around. Well, that's what the, in, in that context anyway, that's what the training is for, right? In your business context, that's what the planning is for. If this board behind me represents all the projects that I'm working on, the tasks that need to be done on those projects, and I keep it up to date every day, do I need to spend time on it on Sunday? In theory, no. And yet, every time I do, I make changes to the board. I simplify. I mean, it's the it's the AAA process, right? I mean, that's another vehicle analogy. How did I come up with that? Act, uh, act, assess, and adjust. Right over the course of the week, things have happened. I may need to adjust. I may need to take some things off that don't need to be there anymore. Right? You have to plan in those times, and it's by planning in those times that you are prepared when those things happen. What's that? You leaving? Huh. Hey, say good morning before good you morning. go. All right, let me kiss. Mwah. Goodbye. Love you. Have a good day. Okay, and there you got to see Lindley today too. My butt itches. And and hear about her functions. <laughs> All right, that's it. You guys have a great Wednesday. Talk to you from the coffee shop in a couple of hours. And uh, back here again in the morning. Take care.